Time for some general comments from Coach Coy. Well, should we just replay last night's press conference? <laughs> we could just replay the hockey game that happened last night. I mean, uh, really, it was just eerie uh, how the whole thing transpired, uh, similar to what happened last night. I actually thought we played much better in this first period than we did last night. But, uh, you know, it was just, <laughs> you know, I wish we'd start better. We were really sloppy early with the puck. It was turnovers that were really causing us problems. And then I thought as the game went on, we managed the puck better. And then we got our special teams were huge. You know, they don't get a power play going, we get to. And, uh, you know, was, uh, our goalie stood tall when he had to. And we played a great third period. And, you know, we can't keep playing with fire the way we have been the last few weeks. But like I said before, I certainly like some of the characteristic characteristics we've shown over the last few weeks and you know, being mentally tough and playing well in crucial, critical times, which is something you're absolutely going to have to do at this time of year. And, you know, listen, it's never easy to end somebody's season. And that's a heck of a hockey team we just played. I don't think there's a team in the country that, that you know, you're playing like that in the first round of your, of your second round of your playoffs. And, you know, we may move forward and not see teams as good as them. A lot of talent there. They play hard. They make it real difficult. Our right? and that's that's why you know, I'm so proud of our team because that's a very good team we just beat two nights in a row. Coach, almost the same question from last night. What is it about the comeback mentality that you guys just never say that? Well, we might be so immature, we're stupid. You know, that might be part of it. Hey, David, how important was it after you down two nothing and Phelps gets the the second penalty with about a minute to go? Kill that off, especially where it went over two periods. Right, right. Where well, I think it helps you. It helps you, I think, from a penalty kill standpoint, yeah. where it's broken up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I thought that was probably our best kill of the night. I thought they had way more, yeah. you know, chances. They, they, they were buzzing with uh, the power play. And, you know, I just thought early on we were slow reacting. I mean, they'd be loose pucks, we were slow to them. We were slow with our second defender. We, would ju we just weren't quick enough. There wasn't a pace to our game. And I thought that got better as the game went on, and they spent way less time in our end. You know, there was a time in the second period they they were hemming us in, and it looked like we could clear pucks, and we couldn't do it because they were quick to them. And as the game went on, I thought we got quicker, and you know, I thought that was the difference in the game. Is it a sign of a of a really good team though that even though you dug yourself the whole both nights, you had the ability to come out, uh, get out of that? Hole? Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any doubt. Again, you're going to need mental toughness. You're going to be resilient. You're going to need to be resilient this time of year. You can't let situations put you down. And you got to keep moving forward. And I thought that's what we did. You know, we didn't let the two nothing deficit get us down. It didn't get in the way of our performance, which is what you need to do. You just got to keep moving forward. And I thought we did a good job of that. What would you say is the reason you guys are so successful against their power play? Um, we have a great goalie. But listen, they had chances. It wasn't like we, you know, hemmed them in. It wasn't like they didn't have chances. I mean, you need a little puck luck, too. At the, I was just going to say, at the, at the other end, you got two power play goals both nights. So not only did you hold them off the board on their power play, but you got two each night. Um, yeah, seems like the power play back on track. It is. It really is. We've been scoring power play goals. I don't know how many games in a row, but we've been scoring power play goals. You know, I know. This time of year, your year stats don't matter. You know, it's what are you doing right now? I mean, how good you power play right now? And you know, we may be 23rd or 22nd in the country. I could care. I don't know how we look right now. And right now, our power play looks good. And the, we're, and we're being productive. In the third period, how did you guys hold on to control the game and the power? I thought we kept it simple. Our puck management was so much better throughout the second and third period. We went for some plays, we went most quickly. You know, if we didn't have a play, we lived another day, and you know that's what you got to do. I mean, you can't you know you can't force plays. You know, it's a 60-minute game. And you gotta sometimes the other team's gonna put you in a position where no play is the right play. And I thought we did a better job of that as a game went on. Dude, did you guys have a plan for the power play that late, knowing that if you scored, that might be the game? Was there anything that you were, were going to set up with? No, we wanted to build on what we had been doing. I thought yeah. over throughout the series we had been doing a good job on the power play, and I thought particularly the unit that scored the goal, uh, McAvoy, Chris, yeah. JFK, Greenway, Keller unit, they, they've been coming on. You know, they've been coming through some struggles, and I thought this weekend they were much better than they yeah. have been. So 
you know, I thought about calling a timeout, but I thought they were a little tired. Mm -hmm. um, our guys were fresh, so mm -hmm. yeah, decided not to. Jocko. Uh, memory serves, I think your career and my person might overlap by one year. Yes, yeah. Um, can you just talk about the connection? And, and also, Chad's been kind of the unsung guy in your, all your style freshmen. Well, Mark actually, ironically, Mark uh, came to BU when I had to quit playing. That's how he ended up. He ended up. You know, I had to quit playing uh, in '87, and they needed a defenseman, and they went out and got Mark, and he actually stayed with me during his visit. He's been a great friend for a long time. And his son made us work real hard to get him to come to BU. I'll tell you that it should have been a lot easier than it was, but we're certainly glad we have him. He's had a great year. He gets better and better. He's a phenomenal kid. Uh, he's got a lot of talent. It's just I'm really happy for him that he got that goal. Do you have any updates on Carpenter and Bob? They're better. Uh, and I, I think they both will be available next week. Getting back to the power play, a, a few weeks ago you were saying it's too cute, uh, and now you have goals in three straight games. Uh, what What's different? Uh, we're quicker. You know, there's an urgency. It's, we're, we're, we're trying to make a string of simple plays, which will create a special play, as opposed to let's make a special play. You know, if you put together you know, four simple plays, all of a sudden there's going to be a great chance, as opposed to I got it, I got to make a heroic play. Just keep moving it, keeping it simple, have a pace to your power play, shoot pucks, and you get a retrieval. I mean, it's really, I know that sounds simplistic, but it is. Too often when you get on a power play, you get in a power play moment. And you got to move pucks. One time pucks, retrieve pucks, make good crisp stick to stick passes. Same recipe that you need for a five on five goal. You know. To that end, it isn't, I, I guess the thing I've always thought about Check, this is game this year, is that he's really good at that. He, he gets pucks, uh, he keeps them in on the power play, and he, and he makes good passes. I guess, is that something he's kind of developed over the course of the year, or is that just, you know, what he does? I think that's, I mean, he's a high-end guy, he's a high-skilled player. Uh, you know, the challenge for guys like him is to, again, do everything faster. You know, a lot of times, you know, players come and ask, Coach, Coach, what do I got to do better? Uh, you got to do everything faster. <laughs> you know, was, I know they must, you know, a lot of guys want to hear a different answer, a more you know, direct answer. You just got to do everything faster. And he's getting faster. He's playing fast. He can skate fast. There's a difference between skating fast and playing fast. He's playing faster. What can you say about Forsbach and Carlson again, matching up against Astros this line, and then obviously going into the system? Well, he was huge. I mean, uh, you know, he, uh, he's got a little snake bitten in the point department, but uh, when we needed him most, he stood tall. Uh, great play by Keller on the, on the first goal. Uh, you know, great rush uh, on the initial rush on the power play. And, uh, you know, but he's, Jacob not only had three points, but he played well for 200 feet. What have you seen from Nick Roberto on those top two lines? It's been a subtle story on that really hasn't been talked about. Well, he gives that line speed. He gives him some grit. You know, he's a great compliment to Jacob and to, to, to Jordan. And, you know, I'm glad he got a goal. You know, it's nice to see a guy like that get rewarded statistically. Jake made another save, I think, with, you know, cross post. With, I think if you guys are already down two, I maybe one on. You just talk about his. Well, he was, uh, listen. You need to have a great goalie, and I've said this all along. We got a great goalie. And, you know, any team that has success this time of year has a great goalie. But there aren't many that don't. And uh, it's like, well, you got to have a great quarterback. You know, and we got a great goalie. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Thank you.